All right, everybody, we are pleased to be joined right now by Senator Marsha Blackburn of the great state of Tennessee. Senator, thank you so much for calling in. It is so good to be with you. Thank you so much. All right, let's talk about where we are now getting things up and running across America. Uh, first off, you know, is, is Tennessee fully open now? And, and what are you seeing uh, from the from the federal level, as the president says, that he won't go into a second lockdown. How, how confident are you that that's going to be the case going forward? I have to tell you, Tennesseans are working hard to make certain we don't have another safer at home order. Uh, they are abiding by all the protocols. They are making certain that they are wearing masks. They are distancing. They are going back to work in safe ways, and employers are doing a terrific job with being certain that there is PPE for all of the employees, that people are practicing social distancing. And, you know, one of the interesting things I found, many of the employers have brought people back in different groups, and they are having some employees continue to work remotely while they reconfigure office spaces and decide exactly how they're going to handle it. And I think people are being very thoughtful. I have not met anyone who says, I want to get COVID, or anyone that says, I want to give COVID to someone else. Senator Blackburn, are you confident that uh, all necessary procedures will be in place going forward for these rallies to occur in, in the most safe and secure fashion possible? I think that for rallies, for sporting events, for concerts, for live venues, you're seeing these groups work together to have conversations with one another and say, how do we do that? Uh, do we want to do a temperature check? Do we want to do a COVID test that is similar to like a breathalyzer or uh, some other way to make a determination if someone does or does not have COVID? So Americans are innovators. They are problem solvers. They're going to find a way to make this happen, to figure out how to keep people safe when they come to their events. Another component of that is that employers want to be sure that they have and also some of these venue and theme park owners want to be certain there's liability that if someone gets COVID and they look back where they were a week to two weeks back that they're not held liable for someone saying well we caught COVID while we were in your area right and senator how are we doing with with PPE with funding Treasury Secretary Mnuchin said that there's still plenty of money to be dispersed. I believe this was yesterday that there's there's more essentially that the government's going to be able to do to help get the economy going and also to put money in the hands of people who have been so negatively affected by this. Where, where are we right now on PPE and, and yeah. what's the top of, of your Senate agenda to try to help get things up and running again? Well, there is money that is still left in the PPP funds. And there is money there that that window is open for businesses until the end of June. And then they're going to have until the end of December to spend those funds. Now, one thing that is being discussed right now is do you make some of these funds that are left over available to small businesses that were destroyed during the rioting and looting and property destruction that has taken place over the last couple of weeks. And uh, Senator, is there anything else that you think should be done in, in addition to the current financial uh, the current financial moves from the federal government side? You know, it, something that you would want to see that would either help your home state of Tennessee or just in general be a real boost to the economy? Well, I, there are three things I think that we should do that really don't cost money, but would encourage businesses to get going. Number one is liability protection. And we hear regularly, this is necessary. It is needed. People want to see some form of federal liability protection. That would be a good thing. I 
tried to address that and get that in place with uh, our phase three bill. But of course, our friends across the aisle did not want that. And it came out. So we're working on it as we look at what comes next. In addition, looking at what we could do with tax credits, the money that employers are spending for PPE for their employees, making certain that there is a credit for that, having a payroll tax holiday for both the employer and the employee, uh, looking at rules and regulations that were not necessary during COVID and saying, let's keep those off the books and not put them back on the books. Now, those are three different categories that would be a savings for businesses and also would put more money in the pockets of individuals. But let's say with tax credits, you could have a cap gains tax holiday between now and the end of the year. And if your business was adversely impacted by COVID or by the rioting, then you would be able to invest, get investors into that business. And when they back their money out, it would come out to them income tax free or cap gains tax free. That's the way that you get this economy growing again and get innovators working again. And one more, Senator Blackburn, and we're speaking to Senator Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee. Uh, Senator, do you see action on the Republican Senate side that would Uh, address the issues right now that are being talked about of uh, police accountability and making law enforcement more effective, keeping everyone safe. Uh, Is there anything that you you want to see happen on that on that front? Sure. We had already, uh, back when we did 21st Century Cures in 2016, uh, we put money in for de-escalation training for mental health. And de-escalation training, I think, is something that would be important. Uh, We want to make certain that our law enforcement officers have the training and the equipment, equipment that they need to keep communities safe. And it was disheartening to me to hear our officers and my goodness we need to be investing more in our police force and not defunding the police but they would say you know we didn't have the training necessary for COVID, or we don't have the training necessary for first response for some of the drug situations uh we don't have the equipment for that or we don't have the equipment to handle rioting Uh, These are things we need to be certain that they have. They are the first responders. When you call 911, they are the ones that come to help you. And we want to make certain they're well-trained, well-equipped, because we know they are an integral part of all of our communities. Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, thank you so much for joining us. All the best. Hey, Team Buck, thank you so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you like this video, please click that little thumbs up button so then it will log as liked. And also, if you want to see more great content from the first, please click subscribe.